This is the third, the third gala that we are going to have, and the difference in the amount of people that have come together from all over the world, millions of people, to watch Premios Platino, and it's basically the Academy Awards for the Hispanic world, has been phenomenal. So when you ask me what I would like to see, I would just like to see exactly what's happening, and non-stop, because this is like a... This is this beautiful, beautiful movement that is spreading where we as Latinos and as Hispan Americans, we can uh, make films, we can make contacts, we can especially plant the seed to feel proud of the movies that we're doing. I think um, the first misconception here in the United States is uh, there is a tendency to think that we are all the same. Um, and, you know, if I ask you, you're from Texas, or you're from New York, or you're from uh, California, you know, there are very many differences among and within the states. And that is what's happening. And that, that's what I think there's a little misconception that there's a tendency to think that we're all the same. And we're very clear. We're a united nation of Hispanic people, but we are very clearly different among the different countries. Uh, Venezuelans have nothing to do with Argentinians or Mexicans, so uh, it's a way of showing the world who we are and it's also a way for us to express um, our art in our culture. You know, it's so much diversity you know, conversation now about women in the film industry and we're still not being recognized and especially being a Latino filmmaker, actress, producer, what can we do as we move forward to really build that brand and get that acknowledgement as female filmmakers? Yeah, uh, it's funny because I was noticing today for Best Direction and, you know, there were no women. But look, I think th what's great is that the conversation has started. Uh, the conversation in the United States started more directly towards the African American community, but still, we, you know, th there is a conversation, and I, I believe that we, from the creative point of view, have to develop more of these projects uh, where it's about diversity, and also we, as the audience, have to go support it because you can do as many projects as you like, but if the audience doesn't support them you know, then they're, then they're not going to be made because every, these, these projects cost money. So I think, I think as long as we are all doing what we can to support these projects, and by the way, sometimes when we talk about supporting means do something that goes against your... No, you support it because it's amazing, because we do wonderful work. So I think as long as we all do it, we're just going to continue to grow. And then hopefully in a few years from now, this will not even be a subject of conversation. We'll be talking about something else. Now, as an actress yourself, I know you do many things, and I've heard that you have a book that you've written. Yes. Can you share with us about the book, and, and where can we find it? Yes, the book is everywhere. Uh, it's called A Straight Walk, and in Spanish it's called Sin Tacones Sin Reserva. And it's a book that I launched a few months ago that has done really well. And, and it's basically an inspirational story about living your truth, whatever truth that might be. For me, my truth is that I'm gay. And all the things that I've been through in, you know, in this world of being a supermodel and then an actor, uh, and how I got to the conclusion that I had to live my, thr my truth. So I use my story to inspire others to live their truth, whatever truth that might be. Um, the book has been... You know, it's just selling like crazy and, and people are really embracing it. As also in the Hispanic world, in, in Spanish, the book is just flying. Because culturally, I guess you're breaking, breaking barriers, being a woman, being beautiful, being out in the, and then you're exposing yourself like that. When you made that decision, how transparent was that for you? What did you feel like? That's a very big decision to make. Well, yeah, I mean, I think I'm a mom and with being a mother also comes responsibilities uh, and they just got to a point where I thought I need to live my life freely so my daughter sees this uh, and that's that's part of of what made me now how did I feel after 
Well, of course, there was a lot of people, especially in the Hispanic world, who started saying a lot of things, but I felt that it's good because, again, we start a conversation. As long as everybody can feel and think differently, as long as we do it with respect for each other, then everybody has a right to have their own opinion. Um, for me, it feels amazing. I feel relieved. Uh, I feel free and I feel extremely thankful to be living in a country like the United States where I can just be who I want to be. And also, my example has been inspiring other people around many other Hispanic countries where, you know, people are fighting for legislations and uh, just very basic, basic human rights that we don't have. That fortunately, we still have a lot to do in the United States, but fortunately, we have some of them. Well, how do we find you on social media? Our fans can stay in touch with you and do all the Twitter, Instagram, all the cool things. Yes, it's uh, YU Princess, W A Y U U, and then Princess, P R, you know, just write Princess, P R I C, P R I N C E S S, Y U Princess. Or just put my name and it will show up. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us and congratulations on being part of this fabulous movement and we wish to see it continue for many more years. Sure. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you.